The pressure's relentless. One of you guys is going to have to step up. Oh, that's a real, that's a real. Oh. What are you doing, Karen? Come on, Phoenix! We could lose everything. I think I'm speaking for all of us when I say we'd rather die than watch this place go down. Amen. We ain't losing this farm. Mm -hmm. Well, some are calling the new docuseries The Big B Dynasty, The Real Life Yellowstone. It gives us a look into the high stakes world of farming and ranching in rural Missouri. So this morning we have Stephen McBee Jr. and Jesse McBee joining us live to talk all about what it takes to be a real American cowboy. And good morning to both of you. It's so good to have you with us. Good morning. Thank you so much for having us on. Hi, I got to tell you, that was an exciting little teaser that we had there. I mean, I can sense the nitty gritty drama the, that's coming off of the farm. So let's dive into this. I mean, it, let's let's clarify, because a lot of times when we see reality TV, we know so much of it is scripted and and this and that. This is not right. No, not at all. This is as authentic and as real as it gets. That's good to hear. It is. It is. Okay. So, so what's it like though? Because something tells me that you guys didn't grow up, right? I mean, I'm from Arkansas. I know you're from Missouri, so I know I know the area well. I, I bet you didn't grow up with cameras in your faces watching everything that you're doing <laughs> on the job. So, I want to hear from both of you, Stephen Jr. and Jesse. I mean, what was it like living your lives in front of the camera? I think it really put things into perspective. Uh, we obviously didn't grow up with cameras in our face, so having them there every day asking us questions about what we're doing and trying to explain, you know, this is why we're doing this or this is why we're doing that was, it was interesting, uh, but we had a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, absolutely. I think that for us, we've grown up farming and ranching, so we don't think it's that special or we don't think some of the things that so many people find interesting about it are really all that interesting. But <laughs> whenever we're out there working and cameras are on us, uh, you know, you can tell that not only is all the production crew so interested in it, but the audiences love what takes place on a real life farm and ranch. Mm -hmm. It's so um, distant from most of America living out in the middle of nowhere in the flyover states that I think it really gives an interesting perspective to, to what happens in the Corn Belt. So now what about being, you know, a family business? Because I can imagine that there are some challenges, let's just say some ups and downs that come with working alongside your brothers and your dad. So so Jesse, let's start with you. I mean, what are what are some of the challenges that, that come up with, with being part of a family business? I would say uh, just kind of some of your daily challenges that you would have just as a normal family if you didn't work together. Obviously, we still uh, love each other at the end of the day, but we fight. We have relationship problems. We have brother problems. Um, but it seems like, and we've talked about this a lot, that no matter how hard we fight, no matter what we get into there in the day, that at you know five o'clock or whatever time we get off work, that that ends at that time, and we're going to come together as a family. And normally we eat dinner together, and from there on, we're we're back to being a family, all business aside, uh, and all love for each other. Let's let's get to over to you, Stephen Jr. Let's let's talk about what you think are some of the 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 ups and downs of of the family business. Well, we're all different people, and all four of us boys truly have different personalities and the vision for what we want the direction of the farm and ranch to be. And so it really, you know, we fight all the time. I mean, we're not hiding anything whenever we say we argue. We have, uh, you know, little issues throughout the days here and there. But like Jesse said, by that night, we're all eating dinner together laughing, and it's like nothing even happened. So at least, um, you know, we know that we're on the same team. It's us against the world is how we view it, and we're out for each other's best interests. So we know that at heart, no matter how bad an argument gets, we're all there for each other for support. Listen, I'm watching the teaser right now. I'm seeing the helicopter. I mean, I'm getting Yellowstone vibes literally all around. It's with the brothers and the dad. I mean, so have y'all seen Yellowstone? And, and do you think that this is a show that... Uh, that your show is one that maybe Yellowstone fans are going to enjoy seeing the real life <laughs> version of. Yeah, for so many years, people have been telling us that we are the real life Yellowstone, and it really didn't connect to all that familiar with us until the last couple of years when we really dove into that show and we're like, man, they are onto something. <laughs> Jesse looks like the spitting image of Casey Dutton, Absolutely. Uh, especially yes. with the long hair. <laughs> and then I fly the helicopter. Yellowstone has a helicopter. This is quite literally the real life Yellowstone. All of the drama. We don't have a train station, but other than that, it's all pretty much real. <laughs> Completely unintentional, too. Like, yeah. this is all no, it was not real life. Yeah. What a trip. I love that. And you're right, Jesse. Gosh, you look just like him. It's, it's kind of throwing me for a loop. So really quickly, I've got to <laughs> let both of you go. But what do you think it is that fans are going to most 
connect with, uh, with the show, with the McBee dynasty when it comes to you guys? There are so many different aspects to this show. You have the real life stresses and pressures of the farming and ranching operation. But on top of that, you get all of the drama of our real life personal issues and our relationship issues that we're trying to grow and strive for, even in turbulent times. So you're getting to watch all of this unfold in real time. And it's all, like I said, as real as it gets. So there is no faking anything on this show. I think there's something for everybody in the show, which is there's what makes it great. I love that. Let me tell you what, I'm going to be watching. I can promise you that. I'm, I'm intrigued and I'm looking forward to getting to learn more about the McBees and everything you guys are, are, uh, are up to there in Missouri. Steven Jr. and Jesse, thank you both so much for hanging with us here in Atlanta. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you so nice much. Enjoyed it. And a special thanks to Peacock for helping to coordinate our interview with the McBees. All 10 episodes of the McBee Dynasty are available for streaming now.